It's the European Grand Prix only on ITV, the championship decider. Do you want to know what it's like at the front of the grid? Let's find out with Martin Brundle. Hello, Jim, and the atmosphere down here is absolutely incredible. This is like a very intense game of chess, and you can see the players behind me and the chess board as it is at the moment. But first of all, what's going to be the first move? Keith, come around here, and let's have a look down to the first corner. It's a very short run here, and notice that it's uphill. What does that mean? It means you can break very, very late because the hill helps you slow down. It's bumpy in there. If Michael Schumacher gets a good start, he'll be on the inside. I'll talk about that in a moment. And he, I think, will have checked it there to see how much grip and how bumpy it is and how late you can break. And he could be the last of the late breakers. Let's go and have a look now at the players. On pole position, obviously, Jacques Villeneuve. Now, all three drivers on the front of the grid did exactly the same time. Unbelievable. I've seen it happen a couple of times down the field. Two guys on the same time to three decimal places. But here we are with three guys on the front of the grid. Some people saying it's so incredible. Was it fixed? Well, look, I went to Williams to get hold of uh, a piece of paper and I said, please give me the overlay of the two Williams drivers and let me see it for myself. Frentzen and Villeneuve starting the lap in the same place. Frentzen half a second up at the midway point, lost it on three corners towards the end and a big fat zero at the end of the lap. Yes, they did exactly the same time. Clearly, I can't get the Ferrari overlay on here, but that's how close the competition is. And here's... Here's Villeneuve's car on pole position, and uh, he's on the left-hand side of the track. It's a bit odd because the racing line is on the right. It's a bit bumpier over here. That's why they stay down that side of the racetrack, and theoretically, a dirtier side. Now, the Formula 3000 race yesterday, pole position man got away very, very well both times. So that's a good omen for him. Michael Schumacher was watching that start, and here's Schumi's car now, the Ferrari behind me. Now, when all of these profilers and officials we've just seen and um, the people who are working on this grid clear, Michael Schumacher is going to finally look around him and see a horror story. To his left is going to be Jack Villeneuve, just in front of him. Again to his left, just behind him, is going to be Villeneuve's rear gunner. That's Heinz Harold Frentzen, the German, the fellow countryman to Michael Schumacher. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes today. He's in a no-win situation. He's got to fight to help Villeneuve, but as a German, if he in any way hinders Michael Schumacher's progress or takes him off the road, let's say, and he loses the championship, he may as well tear up his German passport and uh, get a new identity and move to Inner Mongolia or something. I really don't fancy his position today. So that's the key three players. Now, who are the pawns in this game? Behind me are the two McLarens, if you can see them anywhere in there. They've been lightning off the start for the last few races, and Damon Hill in there on uh, the Bridgestone tyres in the air is a fantastic performance by him to, uh, to be fourth on the grid. He may well have a tyre advantage later on in the race. Now, Schumacher said something very interesting to ITV yesterday, and that is, I've got three Williams drivers around me. He considers Damon Hill very much as one of them, and obviously Damon's got a few debts to repay on that. I remember in 1983, standing on the, sitting on the grid, all I had to do to win the British Formula 3 Championship was run into Ayrton Senna, and you're going to be shocked at this, Keith. There are certain days when I wish I had. But the clerk of the course came up to me and said, whatever you do, if there's any monkey business, I'm going to throw you out of the race, you're not going to score any points, and I'll take some other points away from you. Well, Max Mosley, in the driver's briefing this morning, said to the drivers, look, there's 350 million people watching this race live. If there's any silly business going on, there will be a lot of trouble. Keep it clean. You're the best drivers in the world. Show us. So uh, he, uh, he's been told the same. They've all been told the same as I was told on the grid that day back in 1983. Anyway, let's sum up. In the blue corner, you've got Goldilocks. In the red corner, you've got Golden Gonaz himself. Back to you, Jim. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs>